Welcome, doll fans! By request, this is a brief tutorial about how I make my alpaca wig. I'm using a sewing or rooting technique instead of gluing to the outside of the wig cap. So what I've done is I've made my wig cap pretty much like what other people do. I'm using tulle, uh, but you can also use pantyhose or whatever stretchy fabric you want. And I recommend matching the color to the doll head as closely as you can. I got this technique from this person, <laughs> and uh, I will link to you to the tutorial uh, in the description. So I recommend going there for the full explanation as to how these wigs are made. As for right now, I'm just going to show you how I sew it in. Well, the original tutorial is using synthetic uh, saran hair, and I'm, I'm using alpaca, so mine is a little bit different. Um, we're, we've got special needles for this job. So, let's get to it. I'm going to show you what I've got. I've got a cup of water, which is actually empty right now. I've got my hair. Mine is dyed blue. No, if that's something else, I'm not going to talk about dyeing right now. Um, I really recommend using like natural colored alpaca, and if you want a colored wig, use synthetic. I feel like that's like the safest way, because <laughs> synthetic shouldn't stain the doll. I, I don't know if this can stain, but uh, I'm afraid it will. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, <laughs> what else I have is... Um, I made this cool doll stand for wig making. That that helps for making the wig cap itself. Otherwise, hopefully you have a body to put your doll head on. I don't, so I had to build this thing. So um, that's that's what you're looking at there. So um, Mod Podge. I use matte Mod Podge. I recommend using matte because a human scalp isn't really shiny, is it? So <laughs> it's usually matte. Uh, scissors. Comb, paintbrush for your glue. That's it. And I got needles. I have two different kinds of needles. And I'm going to show you the difference between the needles. Alright, the first needle that I've got is called the one second needle. It has an open eye on the side so that it's easy to slide the thread into the needle to thread it in like one second. <laughs> um, now I I'm not really convinced that they're still making these. These are an as-seen-on-TV item, and I've never seen them in the store. Yeah, by now you would think that hopefully they'd be selling them in the store, but I haven't seen them. I got mine on eBay, and my needle, as you can see, is kind of tarnished, because I believe it's original to the time period that this came out. The other type of needle that I tried was a beading needle, and this also works. They both work. Uh, whichever one you like best is up to you. You can try both, or you can just um, just get one of them and just use that. My favorite is the one-second needle, but you know some people might like this one. Who knows? It's, that's a it's a Venus brand, and you get two of them. And uh, it has a big wide eye that makes it easy to thread alpaca hair through. <laughs> And the eye is flexible, so that it, it won't make like a huge hole in the wig cap. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I do both needles, and you can decide which one you want. So what I have done here with my all of my different, all of my hairs, is that you'll notice I have fused them together with glue. And I just painted the glue onto the ends with the Mod Podge. And then I uh, actually used a needle to thread this string through so that I could dip it into the pot of dye and, and pull it out very easily. And, um, and it makes them easy to, to hold and manage. In the original tutorial I said uh, says to count out three strands of hair, but alpaca hair is so fine you may not want to do that. It might be a big pain. So what I do is just pick out just a, f a little, a thin amount like that, and when you pull it together taut like that, um, I usually want it to look like the width of a regular strand of sewing thread. 
You want it to be as thin as possible because that's what's going to look more realistic. We're going for a very realistic hair scalp thing right now. So once I've got this this bit of alpaca hair that you can barely see, uh, you might know you might think that it's kind of hard to manage because it's so wispy and thin. In order to thread the beading needle, there that one, I usually dip it in water. <laughs> like that and it's empty so and then um and then I just sort of uh, make the hair stick together with water and it makes it easy to thread it through this really wide hole like that <clears throat> but my favorite one is the one second needle because just like the commercial says it's so easy to thread this in like one second dude and there it is bam it's threaded and that's actually faster than the beading needle. And so there it is. I've got one really, really long side and one short side, and I leave it like that. And then in order to put it into the wig cap, we go in from the outside, just pick your spot and sew them all together as closely as you can. Put it through. Uh, this one is much, this needle is actually much stronger than the beading needle too. It makes it easier to pierce the wig cap. This one is very, very bendy. Very thin. But it still, it does work. Alright, now go to the other side. And pull it through enough so that the short end comes through. And then reverse direction and go back through right next to where it came in. And then pull it through, just like this. And then you can take the needle off. And then I go to the long strand, and I pull it so that the short strand hangs sort of as short as comfortably possible. And then there it is, it's in. You got another strand of hair in, and it takes a long, long time to fill up the wig cap. So then, okay, now you have like a hair that's sort of just floating there. What do you do? You glue this side of it to seal it in. So then it's sealed in and uh, it won't go anywhere and you can brush the hair and everything. So I dip my brush into the Mod Podge. And then you just glue it on very gently like this. And um, don't do that for individual hairs. Uh, what I would do is I, I would fill in a group of hairs somewhere, like right there. And I would do like a bunch of them. But enough that it's manageable. And um, if it's like overwhelming, if you have all this loose hair that's in the wig cap and it's really overwhelming, it might start to mess up. They might start to come out as you're working because you kind of have to manhandle it a little bit. So um, that's why we do, we do a nice little group and then we seal it in just like that. And then you let it dry, so you get um, you get to take a lot of breaks during this this hobby, <laughs> and um, it's not an overwhelming amount of work. So you work a little bit at a time, and eventually, after a few weeks, yes, <laughs> I really do mean weeks, unless you just work for like eight hours a day, <laughs> then um, you'll fill in this whole thing eventually. And then the very last step is to. Uh, create a different kind of hair weft and to attach it to the front so that you can't see this raw edge and I haven't done that yet so I really can't tell you how to do that part right now I'm just telling you how to sew it in um, but the uh, the tutorial will tell you how to finish it off there's actually two of them and I'm going to link both of them uh, because they've got like a let's say part A part B <laughs> so um, there's two different kinds of ways to do it. So for right now, I'm just sewing it in. And that's what this tutorial is about. So I've said it. As, as we go, you will see more progress. It's getting a little stormy outside. D, thanks you for watching. In the, in the end, I'm going to put some elastic like inside and hopefully it will stay on better. Uh, a bobblehead. Uh, so, um, that's what I got so far. And I thank you for watching. 
and uh, have a great day and enjoy your dolls and m try making a wig. It's fun. I actually think that this is really fun. I enjoy sewing the hair in, even though it takes forever. Seriously, guys. Alright, now I want you to have a great day. Good luck. Ask questions. Check out the tutorials in the links below. And I'll talk to you later. More wig updates. Who stole my sandwich?